So today I would like to share a case of about a 45 years old lady. She was a flight attendant. She was referred to us because of the recurrent ankle pain uh, in, the, in the year 2016. Actually, she got similar attack in uh, two years ago. And uh, actually the pain subsided to, after the first attack, but the recurrent in the late year 2015. And the pain even exacerbated by another ankle sprain uh, in early 2016. And the pain progressive increase in severity. And it is associated with ankle sprain, swelling and also increase in the temperature around the ankle. There was rest pain. Because of the pain, the patient was not able to work and on the prolonged sick leave. And she was seen by a perfect rheumatologist and she was given self assessing with some improvement, but uh, actually the pain control is not quite good. Clinically, there was no other joint pain. So we dig into the old history and this is the X-ray provided by the patient. Actually, she, was, she had uh, X-ray blood test and MRI was done in the private sector at that moment. And finally, the, the public doctor performed ankle arthroscopy with some development done, and she was told to have the, some ankle arthritis, but not, do not know the uh, exact nature. Because the pain uh, greatly improved after the operation, and she was able to resume her duty, she did not have any fall within these two years of time, these, these two years of time. But actually, we, when we saw, see the X-ray, there was some erosion around the synthesis at that time. So physical examination, and we can see that the gross diffuse swelling around the right ankle, the temperature uh, was increased, and so that diffuse tenderness at the joint line and also synthesis. The ankle joint range of movements was diminished, but at that time, the substantial joint movement also still stopped. So this is the X-ray taken in uh, year 2016. You can see that the progressive erosion around the synthesis affecting more on the fibula side. And uh, we can see that at that time, the joint space was nailed. So perfect MI was performed again. This is, a coronal, this is the coronal view. This is the sagittal view. And this is SEO view. And the report that to have the erosion at the synthesis and also got the ankle joint effusions. There's a, there was a normal soft tissue at, at and around the distal tibial fibula articulation with erosion. And uh, there's a progression compared to MRI done two years ago. So we did some blood tests. Essentially, we sign elevated ESR. Other blood tests were normal. So the, we have did uh, another ankle arthroscopy with different was performed. In intraoperative way, many found that there are extensive synovitis around the syndromosis and also the ankle joint. So finally, the pathology report that came back to the glomerulus inflammation. In this the COD sustained the PCR test and also AFB smear were negative. But later on, the culture of cyanophium come back to be a mycopathium tuberculosis complex positive. So she actually suffered from the uh, TB ankles and she was treated with the anti TB treatment in the, our chest clinic for a year. It's a chest x ray at that time, so there's no evidence of pulmonary TB. So this is her latest follow up in the about one, two years post operation. She was able to one aid it, and now she has no ankle pain. The joint is no longer tender, but the ankle joint, the moon joint is diminished. And she wanted to resume her duty, but was laid off by her airlines. And she default follow up after this uh, follow up so that we cannot see the latest, what's, how it's, how it's go. This is the uh, COS way. We can see the X ray from PR, uh, early post op, three months and two years post op. After the TB treatment, we can see that actually 
the erosion, the gradually reossified, and there the disappearance of the periodical osteoporosis, but the jawline is still narrowed. So we have a, have a short review about the TP ankle. Uh, it was caused by the bacteria mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is very common, a little bit common in uh, Hong Kong. Uh, about one to three percent, uh, we are affecting the bones and joint, and out of this one to three percent, only about ten percent will affect the foot and ankles. It's very uncommon in the or in quite rare in the Western countries. So mainly it's affecting the calcaneum regions and also metatarsal joint and predilection to the more articular involvement. Sometimes may have the discharging sinus or ankylosis, which are the late features. Those features cannot be seen nowadays in Hong Kong, mainly in the old, old time. So just like uh, point TB, we have, we have the constant symptoms such as fever, light sweating, malaysia. And some uh, characteristics about the extra point TB they favor us though with suboptimal immune function, such as the very young patient, the elderly, the patient with the HIV or renal failure. So concern about the pathogenesis, it's been affecting the bone and self-freedom at the beginning. So uh, in form of granulation tissue uh, of the form of penis in the periphery of the article surface, and then the penis invade into the control bone, and then causing detachment of arterial cartilage. So the staging was proposed, uh, first staging was proposed by the Martini and Alters. The stuff about from the early stage with the little bone erosion and only local, localized osteoporosis, and then progressive to the marker erosions and then loss of joint space. And finally, we may involve more than one joint and we may also have the concomitant pathogenic arthritis. Concern about the investigation, the pain is way a femister triad, which including the gestatical osmosis, periodic uh, osseous erosion, and the gradually uh, reduction of, of joint space. It, it is a very slow disease. The, uh, uh, the X-ray appearance takes about two to five months to appear. And uh, in the early stage, the joint space uh, was preserved because there's no proteolytic enzyme by the tuberculosis, in contrary to the uh, pathogenic one. So this way should be taken to excluding concomitant TB, bone TB. See scan the main leaf about for the bony uh, anatomy and only any cortical break or collapse of the article surface. MRI is a soft tissue and, uh, and look for, for the soft tissue swelling and collection but they are low diagnostic values. Biochemical tests and methodological tests uh, may provide supportive evidence. Information marker may be elevated, ALP may be increased for bony activities. Some newer tests such as interferon was uh, released, but uh, they cannot differentiate active disease or latent infection. So the gold standard remaining about the bacteriology, about the serial thing and the culture, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, the sensitivity is not so good. Some reporting only 20 to 40% with the positive culture. And uh, PCR is a, is a more common, newly tested with a good, with better sensitivity and also give a earlier diagnosis. So histology also give us some clues whether this is a TB or not. This is a positive in 80% of cases characteristic of the histology, including cesation granuloma, lymphocyte trans cell with cessations. So treatment-wise, the standard treatment is for the TB medication with the multiple combination of drugs for poor, and for the extra point TB, it takes a long, longer period of time to compete for the whole treatment. So treatment-wise, uh, it can be used uh, for diagnosis, such as the biopsy to and uh, for salvatomy, debridement, science track decisions may also help to preserve the joint. And for the case of the for late presentation with the joint destruction or even deformities, we may consider joint recession or aphrodisis for the late stage. These are the reviews of the surgical treatment for the uh, TB ankles. But uh, I think the most important one is the limited 
the, the, the west, inside the West Circle that limited need for the surgical intervention if diagnosed early. That means early diagnosis is essential. Just, just like our case, if the patient can be diagnosed in the first uh, incident, then can save her from the second attack and preserve the ankle joint. So the take-home message is about the TBR fighters present incident onset and present symptoms. High substitutions, especially in endemic regions such as Hong Kong, and also immune deficiency patient. Early surgical intervention, um, biopsy in case of doubtful diagnosis, and the main state of treatment is the prolonged cause of anti-TB chemotherapy. Thank you. Thank you.